arriving in this place, the recognition of the truth of who you are, recognizing who you are, coming to this space, that space, it's always within yourself. It's not something you get, because if you get, you can lose. This is something you recognize. It's a recognition of a space which is already here. Silence is here. Nothingness is here. I am is always I am. The witness, the observer, is always the observer. It doesn't come and it doesn't go. It becomes noticeable. You notice it. It's like the blue sky is always the blue sky. It doesn't come and go. It's the clouds that obscure your view. And it's the night nightfall that is a lack of light. You don't see the blue sky. But the blue sky is always the blue sky. So it's just recognizing it that it's there. And that's why somebody asked me why in your workshops you're using certain type of active meditations or certain transmission takes place or you're giving us certain guidance. It's because everything's designed to turn your mind inwards, to turn your attention inwards. So you start looking and noticing that space which is already inside you. It's already there. But we are conditioned to look for it in the other world. Like we're looking for love from the outside. We want to get it from other people or other things. Or acceptance. We're trying to have everyone approving us instead of recognizing that we're complete, we're whole, and it doesn't matter what other people think or what society is reacting, but I'm already it. So that's why I design different kind of courses, training programs, Whatever we do, it doesn't matter. As the healing training program goes, it could be a third eye activation. It could be how to feel cleanse and restore the auric field, the stuff I was doing before, or, or distant healing, which you may say, well, what does that have to do with this? But every other thing, whether it's a workshop about discovering the Sufi within, discovering it's a 5D quantum awareness, it's whatever is the theme of the workshop, no matter whether it's the healing training program or it's a self-awareness program, it doesn't matter. Those of you who've been with me, you know that I always send you back inside to inner silence and help you to find that place, recognize the place and derive your power from that place. Derive the power of that space. And now, I was trying to talk about fear, worry, and anxiety yesterday, but something Something took over and we talked about something else which was very beautiful, which is the background of us. It's the background of everything because that's where universe comes from. Everything comes to manifestation from nothingness and silence. Silence is another word for it. And everything comes to the manifest world and everything goes back into it. 
And every night that you sleep and you don't dream, if you sleep and you don't dream, you go back to your original state, which is nothing. Because when you sleep and you don't dream, everything disappears. You disappear and everything else disappears. There is nothing. That's why when you sleep and you don't dream and then you wake up, you feel so good. You feel so rejuvenated. Those times that you slept and you didn't dream, there was no dream. Nothing you remember, no activities. You went into a deep state, very low level of REM. And then you wake up the next day or you wake up an hour after or half an hour. You took a power nap and you wake up and you say, oh my God, I was gone. I disappeared. And you come back and you're very rejuvenated. Even if you slept for half an hour, that feels like you slept for six hours. Because you go back to your original state. Nothing. And then when you wake up, from nothingness comes everything. <laughs> <I'm t> <laughs> Again, I can see like... <laughs> This is taking off and going the direction it wants to go. <laughs> I'm trying to steer the, the ship back in this way. So let me talk about... <laughs> it's, it's really a mystery because it's so funny because it's always... It, it shows and reassures and that... It does what it wants to do. And uh, <laughs> I mean, there's literally zero control on individual basis. It appears that you have your free will and you're going to do this and you do that. But it's just an illusion. It doesn't exist. It will do whatever it wants to do. So, and when you notice it, it's it's just really fun in life. Because you start to see the magic. Okay. Let's talk about what is hunting and it's been hunting majority, most human beings all over the world. And we start with fear. I was riding my bicycle, going to my coffee shop. There's a neighbor with his four-year-old daughter. We say hello to each other. They're very sweet. Her daughter is very cute. And her and I have a nice connection. So I always stop by and talk to them. But I'm riding my bicycle and they're walking on a side, sidewalk. I'm walking on the road. I see them and I just quick have a quick turn and I stop. And I'm not very close to them. But the way I came and I pulled and I stopped, it was sharp and a little bit aggressive and then all of a sudden even though I was like six seven meters away but the little girls got scared and she pulled back 